Hey everybody, Skylar here, and today I wanted to talk to you about Coinbase Pro adding support for XRP, which is huge news. Uh, before I get started, just to let you know, I do uh, make these videos every single day, talking about news and updates and all sorts of stuff, um, and everything I make from this channel and anything under this name does go to charity, so liking and subscribing goes a very long way, so super appreciate anyone who already has, and uh, yeah, let's just get started for with this uh, news. So, uh, this is huge news. I almost... Um, posted a video about it yesterday, but um, decided to wait till today. Uh, but yeah, they uh, announced yesterday that they were going to um, add support for XRP in um, and in the U.S. Exchange Canada, European Union, and United Kingdom, Singapore, and Australian. And they are going to be rolling it out in four stages, which include transfer only, then post only, then limit only, and then full trading. The first two stages suggest that it will enable users to transfer XRP to Coinbase Pro um, accounts and post limit orders. Then the subsequent two will allow the customers to match those limit orders and fully trade with XRP. Um, and I actually have, um, if anyone has uh, GDAX, or I mean uh, Coinbase Pro, uh, you can actually see that the listings for BTC, the listings for US dollar um, it, are already there. So uh, really cool to see that um, that news. and, and uh, I don't know if I should say surprising. We've been waiting for like a year and a half for this to happen. I say we because I'm I'm officially part of the XRP community now. <laughs> um, but uh, apparently, um, I guess when I get excited when moves happen with with XRP, I guess that makes me part of the community. But at any rate, uh, pretty interesting move because uh, if for anyone who's been following X XRP and uh, and Ripple, um, I'm now separating those two companies too so i guess i am an xrp fan <laughs> um if anyone who's been looking at that uh over the past year and a year and a half or whatever a lot of people have been saying that ripple has is a security and um you know the company so right now they're saying we're not a security because um you know we are ripple labs and xrp donated their token to us so we're not the same company and you know there's these legal you know loopholes they're kind of going through but um i i feel like they're doing things the way that's going to end up protecting themselves in the end um you know the the ceo you know if anyone knows he, he made aol he he pretty much was there when a when uh, the internet boomed um for humanity <laughs> he, he helped that get going um, so like he, he and I, I think it's really cool. This is a second thing now. He's 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 starting in the crypto revolution. I just think that's really cool. I, I really like his story a lot. But um, at any rate, uh, it's it was kind of surprising that they ended up um, announcing it just because I, there's been no news pro or negative when it comes to the SEC when it comes to deeming them as a security. Um, here is their tweet, by the way. So interesting thing enough, I happened to like open Twitter and I like went to my home and refreshed it. And this was the very first post. So I saw this exact like right when they posted, posted it and I zipped right over to my accounts and threw everything, not everything, but threw like 30% of my money into um, XRP. And I caught that those 10% gains. And then I exited it out yesterday and um you know, and I'll probably, hop, I mean, I'm going to hop back in again eventually, but, uh, but yeah, I, I was re really, really lucky to catch those 10% gains. In fact, um, there's been some, uh, Sir Bitlord, um, posted this yesterday talking about insider trading and you, you see down here, oops, you see down there, um, there's a lot of volume that was being purchased and then all of a sudden it was announced and then the spike happened. So all of this right here, um, you know, he's saying it's got to be insider trading. This is all Coinbase people stocking up on the coin, getting that six percent before it ended up um, jumping up another ten percent. So, kind of interesting. Um, in fact, um, Brian Armstrong ended up uh, posting this little laughing emoji right when it got listed so some people are saying like yeah laughing about how his employees cost the first six percent by front running everybody um but uh 
I, I kind of found it interesting that uh, that XRP only pumped 16%. That seems very odd. Uh, if anyone remembers last year, you could just like find the word XRP or something or Ripple or, or something in the code of, you know, someone could find the word in their website and all of a sudden it would jump, you know, 40% in a day or two days or something like that. And now the actual announcement of the company saying they're listing it, it only jumps it up 10%, which is very, very odd. So XRP pumped 16, I said 16, it was actually 10 because of the, you know, the 6% was probably insider trading, but uh, Bitcoin SV jumped 20%. Why? I I I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know why. But X, but SV pumped twice as much as XRP, and no one even knows why. And then Engine, and this is what I would expect. So if anyone watched the, the Samsung um, unveiling, they actually saw, you saw the Engine logo on the Samsung phone, on the unveiling. So so there is some sort of partnership the only crypto you know that, that was the crypto that they that they showed as like a when it looked like it was like a partnership so um so it, it pumped over 200 percent which that makes sense right because because samsung right it's huge anyways a 10 percent increase over um over an XRP listing on Coinbase Pro, I don't know. It just seems like it should have pumped a little bit more than that. But, um, but whatever the case is, there's a lot of people that are, you know, upset. A lot of XRP haters that are ups upset and saying that it so uh, that it doesn't conform with the you know G GDAX digital asset framework. And if anyone knows what that is. Um, GDAX used to be Coinbase Pro, so um, interesting thing. When I, I've been, I've never been able to access GDAX. I was suspended like two years ago, two and a half years ago. I, I don't know, six two thousand sixteen, long time ago. And then um, all of a sudden they switched over to the Pro, the Coinbase Pro, and they unsuspended my account. But uh, they had my account suspended for for a couple years, and they wouldn't let me know why. And then finally they changed it, and and now I'm able to access it. And that was what I what I was showing you before. But anyway, it used to be called GDAX, um, and uh, you know one of their values is does you know they they want an open financial system is defined as being available to anyone not controlled by a single entity. And people are saying, well, that's not Ripple, and that's not XRP because you know Ripple owns the majority of XRP, and yada yada yada. Um, however, Ripple's, you know, people are saying, you know, the Ripple's ledger is decentralized, citing that the mass, the mass of validator nodes and servers owned by institutions that are that, and the accessibility of the consumers have when it comes to the ecosystem. So, I, I don't know. They, um, that being said, there there are people that um, that say, well, if Coinbase added it. If Coinbase added XRP onto their exchange, obviously, when they rode the, the when they weighed the pros and the cons, the pros outweighed the cons. So, um, you know, uh, Jake Chervinsky here, uh, he is a, an, a, a cryptocurrency attorney based out of Washington D.C. Uh, he just said he pretty much said that. Uh, in fact, let us read it. It's tempting to speculate about the legal implications of Coinbase's decision to list XRP, but there are too many variables. Uh, at play to draw any solid conclusions. The only reason, reasonable inference is that Coinbase believes that the benefits outweigh the costs, including the legal risks. So, um, so yeah, and I, I agree with that as well. Obviously, Coinbase wouldn't have been willy-nilly about this, and I'm sure the reason why it took so long. Now, people have wanted XRP more than any other token. When they were announcing BAT and uh, and um, you know, Zcash or what are the other? What are the other ones? Uh, um, Eth no, not Ethereum Classic. Um, when they were adding some of these other ones, they're like, "What?" People were kind of confused of why, um, and and not XRP because XRP was is one of the most. I mean, people have heard the word XRP army, and the reason why is because there is an XRP army. There's a ton of people out there that are super pro XRP. Um, now, here's my thoughts on XRP, um, and maybe I should just end the video now, all right? There's so many pro people pro and against XRP. So I used to be against XRP when I first came on board because I 
um, when I came on board, the re- the reason that got the thing that got me into Bitcoin was, you know, watching like HSBC, you know, fund terrorism for years, making hundreds of millions, billions of dollars, um, and then nobody going to jail, them admitting that they fund them, and then you know they get a little fine, they continue doing what they do. All these banks are funding all these, you know, there's more money being fraudulently transferred and um, um, through the banking system uh, than the entire crypto industry altogether. So there's just so much dishonesty and shadiness. And I mean, the whole world is that way. And I, I know that Bitcoin is financial, but I, I just watch news about, you know, a cardinal getting arrested for like, you know, the Catholic Church for like molesting some kids or whatever. And it's like, you know, that news doesn't even phase me. There's been thousands of, like, everyone, it's just kind of known. The Catholic Church molests kids. That's what happens. Um, and we just kind of accept it. And it's like, whatever. You know, um, like, everyone's against it, but nobody does anything because the system is so corrupt that it just, it 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 um, promotes that type of behavior. And so I believe that, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is a first step into bringing honesty in the forefront of of civilization. And it makes it where we don't have a choice. And I, I feel like we are not evolved enough to make the right decisions yet. We are too selfish as human as humans. Um, and and we need to position ourselves in a way where we do not have a choice and we have to be honest. Um, and I think that Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is a huge step in that direction. It's going to help people be more accountable. It's going to help people be better. It's going to, you know, it's going to help the 99% not be the 99% anymore. It's going to, you know, so that is why I like crypto. And it, and it's not just to make money. It's not just because I like Bitcoin itself or whatever, but the whole idea behind it is is one of the you know big driving factors of why I like this industry. Um, uh, Ripple and XRP, it's very. I felt like it was very centralized, and I kind of still lean that way. That being said, um, it's going to succeed. It it will not. I don't feel like it's going to fail at all even if i completely do not like it i think it's going to succeed i think my um the i think i think it fixes so many problems with the broken system we have now that's why i like it with the system that we have now in place it fixes so many problems it band-aids a lot of problems and helps out a lot of people with the system that we have now if we lived in a world where Bitcoin took over the entire world and we, you know, everyone was spending money on Bitcoins, getting paid in Bitcoins, and then it would be a different story. But until that happens, that might not happen for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. I don't know. Um, y- you know, hopefully sooner, but Ripple and XRP, they fix so many problems that are currently happening right now in society. Bitcoin can fix you know all these a lot of these cryptocurrencies can fix a lot of problems if they gain adoption and if you know bitcoin is fighting with big banks ripple is working with big banks so yeah i want bitcoin to succeed but ripple has positioned themselves in a much better way i that's the way i think about it i don't think any of them are evil um the only the only only i don't think there's no like the hatred, the XRP army, Ripple sucks, like all that stuff is nonsense, and I, I, I think that's all dumb. Um, I think they both. I think you know, Ripple has an amazing team. Bitcoin has an amazing team. They they're both working kind of in the same areas, but in different directions. And I think they're both amazing, and they both fix so many problems that we currently have. And we should stop arguing with each other and tearing down each other's projects and and start lifting each other up um, is what I think. Um, The only project I kind of like have an issue with is 
well, it's not even a project, it's people. I have problems with people that lie, people that manipulate people, um, dishonest, shady people, like the, and the industry is full of them. And, um, and it's kind of easy when it comes to like finding a project that's going to work well. Find out the people that are running it. Find out the people that created the project and they're driving it. Look at their reputation. Um, if they're good people and honest people and they've done well, the project most likely is going to succeed. If they're a bunch of liars and shady little shadesters, and you know they, you know they they have, well, I'll, I'll just mention a couple. Verge, I hate, I I do not like Verge. It has nothing to do with the coin itself. It has a hundred percent to do with the team driving behind it. Um, um, you know, um, I don't know. Uh, geez, I can't think of another one right now. Um. Uh, substratum. That's another one. Didn't like the owner of it. He was just like, he, he just didn't seem like a good guy. There's a lot of, uh, um, there's a lot of rumors and a lot of like um, reports that came out of stuff he did in his past, and he just seemed kind of dis. I don't know. I didn't. He didn't sit well with me. And of course, that project is not doing very well. And I don't know. I feel like that's an easy way to you know look at the people driving it and. And you know the people that are behind um, Ripple, and they're very successful people. They're very honest people. They're not going to destroy their careers by ripping people off and doing all this stuff. But at any rate, I'm going way off on a tangent here, and, and I'm sorry about that. But um, I'll, I'll link these four pages, and I, I know I said more news. I'm, I'll just uh, post it. Maybe I'll do another video later on today. Um, or maybe I'll post it tomorrow morning or something like that. But uh, I do have like five other kind of cool stories to talk about as well. But um, at any rate, I'll end this one for now. Super appreciate uh, anybody who has been watching so far um, and subscribed and liked and all that jazz. Please like and subscribe if you like this sort of stuff. It really helps me out. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.